Okay. All right, let's start this show. Concentrate for me to manipulate RNG for like the first two levels of this game. Apparently, I'm really bad at this. Uh, it's all musical cues that I'm using. First stage, and if I do the first stage correctly, I can manipulate the second stage as well. So this guy is going to stop for a minute. Let me place that bomb right there, and he's toast. And this guy is going to walk into that explosion. Good. And there's going to be two items that appear from here. I'm going to collect. Counting's hard, addition is easy. Uh, so, this stage I can't really manipulate RNG, so I'm basically going off the seat of my pants for the rest of the game. So, I hope you're ready for some hilarious hijinks and some silly deaths. When I react incorrectly to like enemy emotions. And uh, all these item drops are also random, sometimes they will spawn and then get blown up by other stuff such as this next stage i have like maybe a 60 percent chance of getting an item that will speed up my game by two minutes and we got it awesome in there so the gloves in this game are super amazing you can throw bombs at enemies throw bombs over walls to kill enemies on the other side of levels uh, which i will hopefully demonstrate here uh, and this is going to activate some de uh, TNT on the right side of the level. That kills a magnet on the other side of the level. Oh, look at this guy. Walk into that, please. Thank you. Okay. Piece of cake. One six is more fun with throwing, throwing bombs. So throw one here, throw one over there, throw one up here, throw one everywhere. Throw some, throw some more over there. I'm throwing the bombs over the bottom wall to activate some TNT, which is far away. Back here. And the one that I threw over the right lets me set that. Uh, set up another bomb so I can activate that far that upper right switch so I'll actually have to go over there and break like the five walls required to do that. Alright, so here's a mini boss. Back here. Oh he's not dead. Alright. Please don't die. Oh my gosh, that was close. You walk through the explosions after you kill the boss so no sweat. Uh, so I picked up a heart. What a heart does is let me take an explosion or an enemy to the face and not die. So I'm going to collect as many of those so that this run has the most chance of not game overing. And this guy is a uh, stun lock. Takes eight, uh, 11 hits to kill. Put up a decent fight. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner and one loser. Yay. Welcome to DeuceCon Day 3, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, world 2 is the, the furnace. Uh, this world is notorious for having the breakable blocks, uh, giving them the ability to reappear. Knock those guys out. Oh, I want this. Uh, the uh, item that I got, I call it the red bomb. What it does is it lets the explosions go through breakable walls. Like if I stand like there, I'd die. So. It'll speed up uh, this this level a little bit and speed up 2-2 uh, because there's a lot of breakable walls. I call them walls. They're just, they're just fire pits. Going a little bit too first. Okay. That goblin tried to charge me. You saw that. I threw two bombs over that bottom right wall to activate the left switch. You, you saw I left that switch off, but I threw those bombs over to activate it. Saves me a little bit of backtracking. Kill that guy. There. This will hopefully kill. He's still alive. <sighs> Alright. Good stuff. Um, 2 4 introduces the cherry bomb. He's a, this is a monster. But he doesn't blow up, he's just really annoying. Uh, and also, an item that I can get here is the ability to walk through bombs. It's not strictly required. I just blew it up, so there you go. <laughs> World 2, please. Alright. Alright. Still doing well. 2 5 is more fun with throwing bombs, so there we go. We're going to take out this one. Oh, I threw it the wrong way. Why can't I get Oh yeah, I didn't. If I threw the bomb at the right time, that guy would have died. But uh, I, I, I took a little bit too long. So, I'm supposed to throw a bomb over the left wall and kill him, like, in his spawn position. I spawn camped him. Alright, and more bomb throws. I hope you're loving these. We're gonna do this for, like, the next 20 or so minutes. So you saw I can I can throw the bomb into those ovens and the ovens will like periodically make like that in the stage. And it kills enemies and me if I'm on them. This guy's not dead. There you go. Have some of that. Alright, that's basically all of World 2 is left as the boss. Uh, this guy moves very slowly and throws bombs, so hopefully I can embarrass him a little bit. There we go. Mama should have made him walk faster. All right, not to be outdone, he also goes into his magical machine, which also has, which only has 10 hit points to kill. I don't know why they made it a little bit weaker. Oh, he's on the board, though. And he's just a stun lock of the first boss. Look at that. All bark, no bite. Hey, how, how you doing there? How you doing there, guy? You don't look too bad. Don't sit on my bomb. Don't sit on my bomb, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, World 3, uh, I'm not sure what to call this place, it's the, the magical happy land, um, which is filled with instruments of doom and destruction. Oh, get away from me! Ah! <laughs> I threw the bomb in the wrong spot. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I don't want the kick. It's really laggy and kind of obnoxious to do because I gotta kill this guy. There you go. Oh, boy. So, you've got trampolines, and uh, if you, you can jump on trampolines like go over water, but if you fall in the water, you like instantly die. So, I, like, I want to like avoid the water at all costs. Oh, there you go. That's a nice place to put an item that I don't need. So, sometimes they'll put the game will put items in like places which are important to me. I did not want that there. Kind of horrible, but I'm not going to talk about that. Hope you like that cannon blast. That's in no other level in the game. So I'm going to hop in this guy's tank. Oh, I hop into a little bit late. Let me get this heart back. So you can hop into their tank and then blow up the tank to give yourself invincibility frames. Um, a gimmick in Super, uh, in Bomberman games is usually when you blow up the door, it spawns all the enemies that you've killed in the level, and you have to kill them again. But in 3-3, three, three, uh, the enemies can't respawn because they have to respawn with their tanks, and you can't have an infinite number of tanks in the level. Okay, uh, 3-5, uh, in this level there's a, a walkthrough wall item, which is very important to World 4. And I'm going to uh, waste time trying to find it. So ideally, if I'm doing like world record attempts, it would be like right over there. Uh, okay. I can't blow up the door because the uh, enemy is still there. Now I can. Hey, there it is. Um, so the switches in World 3, if you blow them up, they turn on. If you blow them up again, they turn off. Whereas in Worlds 1 and 2, if you blow them up, they just stay on. I may or may not have forgotten which level I was on. Um, killing some dudes off screen. Again, if I fall into this water, I'm gonna die. Oh, ghost. perfect part of every uh, magical, fun, happy world is paranormal activity. And 3-7, here's the boss. It's a uh, homegirl right here. Um, her bombs walk around on their own. I blew myself up. They give her like a ridiculous amount of invincibility frames. So, so you, can, you can basically just hit her once and just surround her with bombs. You won't have to deal with her again. And, uh, don't look directly at the sun, everyone. <laughs> it's a, uh, FFZ email on my channel. Specifically this face right here where it doesn't even have any pupils in its eyes. <laughs> Alright, World 4 is, um, I'm not sure what to call this level, Techno Babble. Um, my walkthrough walls items is going to help me speed up a lot of this. All the enemies in this world are inside blocks, and you have to break the blocks in order to find them. Oh my gosh, spazzing all over the place. So in this game, if you, uh, if you can round corners by, like, pressing down, and you you, you may not be necessarily lined up with the corners, but you can press it down and it'll automatically round them for you. It's a little bit faster if you round all of your corners. Trick there. Awesome.
four three is basically more of the same. They introduced these red bombs. They're basically just red versions of the bombs that we saw in uh, the first level. Their explosions go through walls, items, you, and other enemies. Take that guy out right there. There's a lot of lag in this game, so I, I just scroll that guy off the screen to uh, reduce a little bit of lag. It's not too bad. World 4-4, this level has a small chance of trolling me with a red bomb drop, which will replace my detonator. Oh, there it is. I have to worry about it. What? That's supposed to work. He's supposed to walk onto explosion and die. I've never seen that before. That's never happened before. It probably has happened before and I just forgot. Okay. Get over there. Okay. Uh, that is a 26 second time save if you do that correctly. I don't know why I was concentrating. It's not like this could be a world record. And I just walked into the... <laughs> he had some dust on his eye and I brushed it off. 4-6 uh, is... I forgot what this level is. Okay, I know what it is. It's a red bomb there. Burn a heart. Uh, okay. Oh, I missed the lift. Okay, well now they have to die. I'm gonna free a dude. Oh, there he is. Okay. Beautiful. And that's World 4. Boss of World 4 also moves fairly slowly and all of his bombs are, have, like, no range. But he is still somehow annoying. I promise he is. <laughs> uh, fortunately, he makes up for it by having the first boss, which is not uh, able to be stunlocked, so I just have to run away from this guy. Get away! Oh, I'm sorry. You wanna hug? There you go. There you go. That's world four. Uh, I messed up my triforce. Uh, that's a triforce. All right, World 5 is the last level in the game. They brought back most of the annoying gimmicks for this one, such as the breakable walls, which unbreak themselves, and... So yeah, the switches, again, if you blow them up, they just toggle on and off, and the blocks come on. The light switches control the speed of the fish. I call them fish. I call that guy down there a moving fish because he goes faster in the dark. Uh, his counterpart, the sunfish, is right here. He's not supposed to be right here. Whatever. It's basically just controlling the... Uh, the lights control their speed. Oh yeah, I threw some bombs over the left wall and activated some switches. So, I hope you didn't want to see that right portion of the stage. So, If you want to see that, uh, look at my like PB from like last year. Where I played through this game without using gloves. And probably died. Uh, by the way, they're invisible mines. I think I blew them all up, but uh, 
If you've played this game before, you've probably died on those mines a whole lot. They're incredibly trolly. There are a lot here in 5-4. I'm hopefully not going to walk over them, but you'll see a few of them. Right there. Y'all didn't see that. You only saw sick plays. Okay. I'm gonna try to do a clip here in 5-5. Five five. It's really easy. And this is not what's supposed to happen. Let's burn up another heart there. Should I go for it again? There we go. I'm really glad I didn't die there. I wanted to at least show you all the clip. Now if I die... Alright, that's basically the rest of the game. The last is the final boss here. Sorry I didn't fill out the 32 minutes. I got fairly good luck and haven't watched anything yet. Oh, oh a phone here. Guess guys on the move! Alright, take that. Eat my shorts. Alright, so th this is, this boss, he doesn't have any, he can't be stun locked, and he also spits out monsters which cannot be killed. back here. the final boss so I blew up this guy and now it's time for negotiations ready for this butt shots okay and this is the final boss it's important that you see the strategy that I'm gonna use here uh, particularly you need the gloves to kill this guy. If you don't, if you don't have the gloves, you have to die and go back to the, uh, the arena. Time. Wow. I'm applauding myself today. <laughs> Good job, me, for getting something a 2354. Certainly not the first time I've done that. Alright, but that's Super Bomberman 2. Really exciting. Uh, uh, Super Bomberman uh, 1 is going to be at AGDQ this year. Uh, that run is sick. Crack Attack is like manipulated like almost the entire, I think actually entirely of that game. Um, but that's a good run. Hope you watched that one. And we're going to move on to the rest of the Bomberman block. Right. Bomberman 64. I feel like you're three-dimensional bombs here. <laughs>